Are you struggling with your identity? Unsure of who you are, what you believe and all things? Well, stick around. I'm hoping that I might be able to help you with that. Welcome to another episode of Mental Health and Makeup Monday. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new and just stopping by, hi. So let's get to it, shall we? So I've been on a little bit of a hiatus for those of you who have been watching and following and all things. I needed a little bit of time for self-care, but I'm back. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to give you guys some helpful information this year. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, Happy New Year's. I hope you had a Happy New Year's, and if not, then sorry. But it doesn't mean that it's going to set the tone for the rest of the year, all right? So calm down. So everybody struggles with who am I, who do I want my future self to be, and all things. So you're not alone, first of all, if you're struggling with your identity. Also, an important thing to remember as I talk about this stuff is that nobody can tell you who you are. So if you're struggling with who am I, ask yourself first, am I listening to other people tell me who I am? People have their own perceptions and beliefs about one another, and we can really never know 100% how people think and feel on any given day at any given moment. And sometimes we just don't share specific things, and that's all right. And sometimes we do that because we're afraid that we're not going to be accepted if we were really truly honest with others. So we might be held back by fear of lack of acceptance and try to bend and mold into what we feel like other people want from us or expect from us or believe who we are. So once identity encompasses values, goals, beliefs, and our experiences. Something also to think about is that your identity can evolve over time. Things can impact how we look at ourselves and the world. They can change, our beliefs can change. So it's not necessarily a stagnant thing, and that's okay. So if you are feeling lost, unsure, confused, I would encourage you to start with identifying your values and beliefs. Outside of what society, parents, your friends tell you to believe and to value, all right? Now, this is a hard step, okay? Because we can feel pressure to go along with things. Religion, for example, many people feel very pressured to identify their religious beliefs based on what they were brought up in. And it can be very scary for people to reflect and connect with what they truly believe or think with all that kind of pressure. And that's just one example. And as a result of that pressure, we can feel disconnected from ourselves and our beliefs because we're so busy trying to maybe keep the peace or not rock the boat, or again, trying to be who we think other people think that we should be. So something that might be able to help you with this is keeping a journal of how you feel, what you think about your experiences and being honest with yourself about what it is that you truly believe and what it is you truly value. The beauty of doing this is that it can help you identify your goals, which in turn help you figure out what it is you wanna do or where you wanna go and you wanna be and all things. Reading books, certain movies or shows can also help us connect with ourselves. I know it might sound weird, but Sometimes when we see certain things, it helps identify what we truly believe and think or what we agree with or don't agree with. If we see a character in a movie, you know, acting fool about something or making choices that we don't agree with, then that helps alert us to what we value, what we believe, our expectations, all things. So that's another thing you can do, you know, when you're watching TV or reading a book. Try to remain mindful and really connect with what you're thinking about it. Uh, write it down. So do that. I said so. So an example which comes to mind right now because I just watched it and in fact I'm looking right now and I'm like oh my god <laughs> what am I doing because I look like one of the characters with the whole thing right now I didn't even think about it but anyway Encanto have you seen it? Did you like it? What did you think? Okay, a little bit of a spoiler alert if you haven't seen it. I won't give you too much, but this is a great example of people feeling pressured to be a certain way and their identity pretty much being defined for them by the family situation. Again, trying not to give you too much. So if you haven't seen it, check that out. And you'll know what I mean. Under the surface. <laughs> I really like the music also. So yeah, watch that movie, okay? It's really good. 
I liked it. And if you watch it, you'll know what I'm talking about. And it could help you break whatever confines you feel like might be holding you back in terms of your identity. Okay? Just saying. I mean, Disney movies can really affect people. I mean, both in a good or bad way, I guess. Under the surface. Dreaming circus. I don't know the words to the song, but I like it. All right. So it can be helpful to consider that outside changes can leave us questioning who we are. So like a big life change, a divorce, even moving because, you know, the people that you're around could be very different and it might cause you to question yourself if you're very different. But you got to be OK with being different because you want to connect with yourself, right? You don't want to lose yourself and have an identity crisis. All right, question that might be able to help you is, are you being your authentic self? Behind closed doors, you are a completely different person, or maybe you are with your friends than you are with your family. That can cause a little bit of an internal conflict. I mean, in some circumstances, I know people might feel like they have to hide around their parents what they truly believe, who they really are, and that's where counts they can come in to help you navigate that. I mean, I know it's scary to come face to face with conflicting values and beliefs when it comes to our family, but people can surprise you. But really what matters is you accepting your authentic self and being with people that accept that and respect it. And if they don't, that's their issue, not your issue. All right, now don't make it your issue, okay? I know it's difficult if it's family and all the things, but you know, we don't choose our family. So find some support, get your friends to rally around you. You know, friends can be the family that you've chosen or being a part of a community of some kind, all right? So just think about it. All right, I'm not even gonna try to continue to do my eye makeup on my lips on camera because every time I do, it is a freaking hot mess. So just bear with me, don't go anywhere. All right, I'll be right back, okay? All right, here we are. Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm not a makeup artist, so. Oh, that reminds me, you're not defined by what you do, okay? First and foremost, baseline, you are a human being, okay? So whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, a counselor, a teacher, those things do not define you. It's something that you do, okay? So just keep that in mind. Anyway, keep a lookout for some upcoming videos. I hope to get them out to you monthly. I'm not gonna be doing weekly anymore because you know, self-care and all things. So thanks for bearing with me. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you got something out of it. And until next time, be well, be strong, and be loved.